What's the time? It's Zaxxon time! Zaxxon! For the ColecoVision, the mighty ColecoVision, delivering arcade quality graphics at home. And nowhere is that better represented than right here in Zaxxon. While we may be used to stunning arcade quality visuals and gameplay at home these days, it's the norm, back in 1982 it was not that common. Many of us were familiar with the Atari 2600's version of arcade games, which frequently did not live up to the originals. Those fortunate enough to have a ColecoVision on the other hand, had a massive library of arcade quality games to choose from, and really good ones like Zaxxon. I'm constantly impressed by how good the ColecoVision is for a 1982 game console. If I had known back in the day, I'd have asked my parents for one, and they'd have said no. But I would have tried. Fly through the force field, through the force field, and get the jet! Yes! All with arcade quality performance. Like other ColecoVision games, there's four difficulty settings. I'm playing on difficulty two, which is actually a bit easy. The fuel gauge really does not deplete very quickly. You have to blow up the gas cans or fuel storage cylinders to continue flying. The harder difficulty settings make the game play more like the arcade machine. Zaxxon is a really cool game and was extremely impressive back in the day because of the perspective. There were a lot of spaceship shooters like Xevious and Defender, but Zaxxon looks like Zaxxon. And you're not just moving left and right to dodge enemy fire, you're also moving up and down. And you have to fly through those force field things. It's just a really cool game. And you can easily find Zaxxon for numerous old-school and modern game consoles. It's available as an extra in the Sonic's Ultimate Genesis collection for a PS3 360. Don't try to play chicken with those jets, you'll lose every time. Let's increase the difficulty and try again. It's been a long time since I've seen the arcade machine, but this ColecoVision version just delivers the arcade quality visuals, which is a large part of what makes Zaxxon cool. I also love the name, Zaxxon. Few games have such a great title, and it's always easy to find in a list because it starts with a Z, it's at the end. Try this at home, speak the titles of numerous video games and then follow it with Zaxxon, and see what stands out, like Call of Duty, Super Mario Bros., Gran Turismo, Gears of War, Resistance 3, ZAXXON! You gotta watch out for a lot of things in this game, like the missiles shooting out from the ground, gun turrets, accidentally flying into fuel cylinders, which is easier to do than you might think. But I really needed gas. Bam! Explode. Zaxxon! Yeah, it's just fun to say. And it's also fun to play. On the ColecoVision. Are they still releasing games for the ColecoVision? They should be. Because look how good it is. I'm playing Zaxxon with the Atari 7800 gamepad because the actual ColecoVision controllers are an acquired taste that I don't really care for. You do need at least one to plug into the second player slot to start the game because you need the keypad. Zaxxon plays quite well with the 7800 controller. The, uh, the gamepad, not the actual crappy joystick controller. And if you're a ColecoVision collector, I highly recommend this game. And no, it will not cost very much to collect. It's an awesome game on an amazing game system. It's Zaxxon for the ColecoVision.